For these questions, we're going to convert measurements. And convert just means to change it into another form. So we're going to change inches into feet. So before we do some examples, I'm going to teach you a little trick to do this. And it goes like this. Horse to fly, multiply. Fly to horse, divide, of course. So how this trick works is you have to think about the units that you're converting as one being bigger and the other being smaller. So the horse is going to represent the bigger unit and the fly is going to represent the smaller unit. So if you're using feet and inches, feet is going to be the bigger unit and inches is going to be the smaller unit. So if you're going from feet to inches, you're going from horse to fly and you would have to multiply. Well, if you're going from smaller to larger, let's say that you know how many inches it is and you're converting it into how many feet, you're going from smaller to larger. So we say you're going from fly to horse and then you'll divide, of course. So horse to fly, multiply, fly to horse, divide, of course, but what do we multiply or what do we divide? Well, you have to think about how many are there in one? How many flies are there in one horse? How many inches are there in one foot? So since there are 12 inches in one foot, when we multiply or divide, we're gonna divide by 12. So now let's do some examples. Number one says, 720 inches to feet. So we're going from smaller to larger. So we're going from fly to horse. So we're gonna have to divide, of course. But what do we divide by? Well, the number that are in one. There are 12 inches in one foot. So we're gonna divide by 12. So for number one, we have 720 divided by 12. So 12 goes into 72 six times. So our answer is 60. 720 inches equals 60 feet. So let's do another one. On number two, we have 24 feet equals how many inches? So we're going from larger to smaller or horse to fly. Horse to fly, multiply. So this time we're going to multiply. But what are we going to multiply by? Well, remember, you're going to multiply by how many there are in one. So since there are 12 inches in one foot, we're gonna multiply by 12. So for number two, we have to do 24 times 12. So we get that there are 288 inches in one foot. Okay, and then let's do one more together. We're going from feet to inches. So we're going from larger to smaller, or horse to fly, multiply. And we're going to multiply by 12 because there's 12 inches in one foot. So for number three, we have to do 44 times 12. So 44 feet equal 528 inches. All right, you try some on your own, and if you need help, you can come back and rewatch the video. Good luck.